Welcome back to my Let's Play for Fantasy Forever Revisions, and it's time to continue our journey through the Gold Cup. And gosh darn, this is going to take at least three episodes. <sighs> oh, there's something higher than even an Archdemon? Huh. I'm not impressed. You're not a Demon of Bell, so screw you. I only care about Demons of Bell. Probably because of playing Devil Survivor. Probably should play a sequel at some point. Um, but for now, let's just focus on trying to kill these guys. Well, I don't think they'll appreciate that. <laughs> we haven't fought Bahamut yet, but he's vulnerable to stun, so he's kinda gonna get wrecked. Any boss that can't resist stuns kinda screwed in this game, I swear. Do I wanna recharge, or do I just wanna recharge myself? Huh. I'll throw around a replenish all, why not? And I'll throw a poison breath at this guy. Is it strictly necessary? Eh, yeah, probably not. Tang. That thing didn't have that much more health than the other demon. I'm disappointed. I expected it to be tougher than that. Darn. What? They're fighting alongside a vampire? You're traitors to humanity, aren't you? Huh. <sighs> I definitely need to kill you guys now. Stinking traitors. Ugh. Can't bide your kind. They're the worst. Ugh, sort of like those guys that help out the vampires in Blade. Just, you, just, you just can't forgive someone for doing that. I mean, really. You're working for the vampires? You deserve to die. A horrible death. Oh, great. He's gonna regenerate HP. Well, that's annoying. Um, let's see. Arcane shot, huh? I'll go for it. And I already know I can't do anything with that, so that'd be pointless. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. It's been a while since I've used the lasers. Mainly because screw them. I mean, with the name, they sound like it'd be a group attack, but no. They aren't. <laughs> well, time for a blade tornado. Always oh, vulnerable to confusion. Well, darn, these vampires are pussies. I mean, if they're vulnerable to that, it doesn't matter if they're immune to stun, you can still shut them down on the offense. Just gotta give them a little scratch. From a puppy, no less, would be enough to destroy them. Huh. I mean, if this is a divine at base attack, it might do more damage here, but I'll still stick with that. Now, let's see. That'll all work. And we'll go with a group stun attempt. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but... I like to try and shut down their offense if I can. Ah. Uh, well, we'll get the weaker ones, at least. That does leave two of the stronger ones, though. Darn it, my Sunny D's gotten cold. Seriously, bad to the bone? I gotta worry about Commander Bones coming out now. Oh no, it's a Beholder! Controlling a bunch of minor slimes that no one cares about! Oh, I'm Poison Bite. Anything else would seem like too much of a time investment. For the actual payoff we're gonna be getting for this, you know. I suspect the slimes are about to die, though. 
Yeah, I thought so. Those poor little slimes. They thought they could be contenders. But really, they were just chumps. And darn, is this tournament kind of boring at my level? I should have held Trixie back, though. Oh, well. Just, just bring it on, man. Okay, what we got here? The Key Master. Been a while since I've seen you. Well, no. I don't think that's gonna work, because he was a boss level opponent. Um. I don't feel like throwing that around either, though. I'll hit all enemies, why not? And I'll try to scratch the Key Master. He might be vulnerable to confusion. I mean, some bosses are immune to stun, but they are immune to that effect. So it's worth taking a chance on. Then again, that's not always the most reliable tactic, so we may have to try again. But I have to make sure I take care of those dinosaurs before I worry about throwing around blade tornadoes. That mildly hurt. Thank you, sir. May I have another? And I think that'll be it. Honestly, I, I want that recharge more than anything else, just so Sarah can spam Sky Cataclysm a bit more often in the preceding battles. And no, Confusion doesn't apparently work on that guy either. Or it probably would have activated at least one of those strikes. Bloodbath. Ooh, we got a new weapon. Well, at least we got something out of this. Albeit, I don't think I need the fusion daggers, but hey. Is that Oxcalibur? No, just a curse blade. You disappoint me, game. Well, now, let's see. Magic Shatter is not necessary. Um, I'll pop the Curse Blade in the face, maybe. No, we'll try and stun lock it. I trust everyone else will be able to take care of, you know, everything else in the field. So we'll also try and scratch the Curse Blade. If stun don't work, you know, uh, confusion might. Well, we got both stats effects. I wasn't counting on it, but thanks, game. Now to rain death and destruction on the field. And then there was one. Okay. Just keep up the attack on it for now. Come on, just die. A very durable blade, I won't lie. Um, stun. But since I can keep locking it down, it doesn't matter if it has lots of health, it will eventually keel over. Seriously, 807? That wasn't enough to end it? Well, you've caught my attention with your HP at least, if nothing else. Come on, one more attack. Dang. Am I going to have to bust out the big guns? To finish off just one enemy? To make this go a bit faster? Come on. I know you want to die. You have to be so depressed at this point. Seriously, I need to study this thing. I, I need to know how much health this thing has left. Darn it. I keep going backwards when I don't mean to. Okay, how much health does this thing have left anyway? I'd assume not a lot. Jeez. Well, at least the Pixie Stones have been able to do their job of recharging everybody. <sighs> Next time I'll remember to 
poison this thing. Seriously, just die already! <sighs> I swear, that curse blade must have been forged for Mumra, the ever-living, or something. It just would not fall. Begin. Oh, great. Zombies. <sighs> well, I'll try um, stun lock here. And we'll have you throw a flurry scratch to try and um, continue the process. I assume the zombies aren't immune to stun. And I'm right. Now, you think zombies would be immune to status effects, though. They are brain eating zombies, after all. Well, whatever. And you didn't do anything that turn anyway. Why? Now you got me weirded out, game. Um, dog breath? I wouldn't think you can poison a rotting corpse, but I'll try it. Come on, poison. Uh, I got no health recovery for that. Trixie is sad, dog. Well, at least I can throw around status. Man. These fights are getting lengthy. If nothing else, they're getting long, alright. Um. Okay. We'll do some recharging. I'm hoping the next Sky Cataclysm's enough, though. Though, at this rate, we're gonna end up having to do just 10 battles, because they're just eating up so much time because they're massive HP bars. Ugh. Another run? Jeez, what's it take to kill you guys? Well, that one's near death. I'm not so sure about the other one, though. <sighs> Still keep it up. Um. Stun. We'll lock him down again, just in case. Trixie can easily finish off that one, so I probably should have had Trixie attack the one that's poisoned and stunned right now. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're both near death. Just jeez. These dreadlords really do make you dread fighting them. Not because they're difficult, just because they drag things out. Seriously? You gotta rip off the Ninja Turtles now? You gotta earn that cowabunga, my good friend. You have to earn it. Well, that's not gonna work, so I guess we'll go with this stuff. Um, sacrifice MP to regain TP, not really useful. Unless I want to throw around, like, true courage or something. Um. Let's see, I guess I could cast haste, but that also wouldn't be necessary. Darn it. Well, I guess I'll lower their attack power. It's something. And stun's not gonna work, but we can try dog breath. I mean, I know vampires resist stun. Confusion less so, but... Individual scratches aren't really up my alley at the moment. Now we can throw around a group attack with Blade Tornado. Try and get a lock on somebody. Ooh, that was basically perfect. <laughs> Fear me. And we'll, um, I don't know, throw on the Sound of Silence. It can lock down spells, at least. I don't know if we'll get that lucky, but I'll take a crack at it. Yeah, we silenced the, um, obvious version of the Gatekeeper. So there is that. Now it's time for another Blade Tornado. These guys have to feel so royally screwed. 
Um, replenish. Um, we'll help Trixie out. Earth inspires. That I do it. Here you go, Trixie. Uh, MP recharge. Feel empowered. Feel emboldened. <sighs> Well, I got him. Twenty-nine seeds in. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Jeez. Ah, oh, shoot! Another curse blade and a cursed warrior. Ah oh, man. Well, I know I can lock you down with stun, so I'll definitely go with it. And we'll doggy breath them. Seriously, these guys need poison, especially that cursed blade, because. Damn, does it take a licking. Well, I can't poison the skull warrior. That doesn't really impress me, though. Just because you're immune to, you know, poison doesn't mean I can't cripple you in other ways. Potentially. Oh, the Cursed Warrior didn't even have that much health to begin with. Damn. Well, now. He with the Blade Tornado. Um. Concentrate. And let's see. Guess we'll, um. Throw a scratch at it just for something, you know? Minor damage it may be, but it's still annoying. And I, I don't really care to see the effects of Moonbark at the moment. Gosh darn, though, we finally get like 10 fights done at this rate. Damn Curse Blades and their massive HP bars. Like, when you take a thousand damage off Poison, you know you got a lot of MP, man. And basic attack. Not worth it. Totally not worth it. Okay. Might have to restun him next round though. Hang on what this blade tornado does. Oh, it's definitely gonna be over. They'll take thousand damage and HP, and we can just pop off some basic attacks to end this. Good. I didn't want this to be too drawn out. <sighs> 30th, huh? Damn, that's when we get to at least the 35th seed. Oh, it's one of you guys. Well, can't say I'm impressed. I'll see what I can do. Well, we'll try stun first. Oh, and it worked. Well, that makes Summoner of Silence screech kind of pointless. Okay. I just wanted to be extra careful. I mean, I was pretty sure these guys were stunnable because I remember fighting them before, but... Might as well be careful, you know? Further concentration and throw around some basic attacks and let's poison bite this sucker. After all, he does have a chunky HP bar. So let's cut that down to size, shall we? Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Those are some good hits there at this point. Well, we'll keep up the blade tornado barrage. We'll have you, um, replenish all. Is it strictly necessary? No, but I'll do it anyway. Here, I'll help you out, dude. I'll get rid of confusion. For a brief moment, then bring it back. Because I'm a dick. <sighs> Heck, it may not even survive this. Nope. Don't mess with Sir Zack and freaking Windblade, I swear. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time we'll come back to the 31st seed and probably do another 
ten battles. Man, this is going to take forever. And I can't stop in the middle of this and save either, which is what really sucks.